Okay, so tomorrow will be exactly four weeks since I put the goats out here to go up against the blackberry bushes. They have done an incredible job. They've decimated these things. It's not even recognizable over here. Um, I'll do a quick before shot. Take a look at this. So since I originally put the goats out here, the masticator's been here and opened up the spot here in the back. So that kind of changes the perception a little bit. Wow. This place is becoming very unrecognizable very quickly. But the goats have done an amazing job. I think at this point, I am going to have them go around the pond here and behind that little tub right there. And then I'm, I've got a two part section. I'm gonna have them do that and then I'm gonna have them break this other part in half. I'm gonna take this in bite sized pieces. It's just easier to handle on my end. But I wanna get this fence moved and then we're gonna take a better look inside here. Okay, here is the area with the fence gone. There was a few things that I knew were in here, but I didn't want to send any tractors in here or a masticator in here because I knew it was asking for trouble. I set this T-post up right there and that one in the back. I set those both up so the masticator could see it because spotting that fence is like impossible. I mean, still, I'm, I get right up on it and I still have a hard time seeing it. But I knew that there were things in here, that wheelbarrow, I just used to use that for when I was cleaning out the old pond filter, the old pond there that we don't use. That's all I used it for was just to move those filters around. That thing had gotten completely overgrown and honestly I forgot was even there. And then we've got a couple other things in here too. Got this T post that's, somebody had a field day knocking that thing into the ground. Got that there, we've got this other, that in there. Never would have found this stuff without the goats. And then we've got these pipes. And I got those pipes over there. I knew those were in here, but getting to them was next to impossible. But what is awesome about this now is that you can actually see where these berries were actually planted. So getting rid of them should be a whole lot easier at this point instead of just wandering in through a mass amount of bushes and strands of everything. I can actually see where the root of the problem is now. So I've been told by a few people that if I wanted to just have the animals keep taking care of this issue, the smart thing to do after this would be to put pigs over in this area. It's gonna, I'm a ways off from getting pigs. That's something I'd like to do, but it's not in the cards right in the immediate. What I will do, is when my dad's available, get him up here with a backhoe and pull these things out by the roots and then that, that should solve the problem. But now I'm gonna have to start getting pretty choosy about where I put the goats because the masticator's been here. Um, I got a spot there at the rat right now and I got one more move after that. But then that's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have to pick and choose pretty carefully what I do with them. But if all else fails, I'll just take them next door in my folks place and they can start working over there. Goats will never run out of a job to do here. So that took them about two days. I kept them in there for three, but they had that wiped out pretty quick. So we are now on the last stretch of the goats versus the blackberries. I think they're gonna win. So this will easy keep them busy for 10 days, two weeks, somewhere in there. Well, the goats are some pretty good workers. They've uh, done a lot to help me move things forward blazing a trail so I can just come in and do the cleanup work. I don't know where I'd be without them. Ideally, it'd be great to just let them free range. I don't know how smart that is. Um, we'll see, but I'm gonna have to start getting creative with them. They have done an incredible job with these blackberries. They're very low maintenance. They cost next to nothing to feed um, when they're in the pen and I'm actually giving them food. But uh, the goats are great. Can't imagine not having them out here. Thank you.